everyone. Hi, it's me, Trooper SJP, and um, here we are streaming the Thursday stream. Welcome to the Academic Foxhole. I hope everyone is doing well. At this point, you should probably hear the music from Orwell in the background because I tried to make it so that, you know, system audio is coming through. So, hey everyone, I'm seeing you, Paladin Hunk and Jer, and I think I need to. for chat over here so that I can see you in the chat room. Is this you? There we go. Okay, let's see. Can I see chat? Hmm, I don't want to do that. Maybe I do want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's not exciting to me. To log in on uh, on my iPad, so I can see you all. Not for this website. <sighs> Token. Hey, Artie Snack, how are you doing? Um, let me put in this token. I have to do the the multi-user authentication excitement all the time okay let's see that should take me there it's a uh, it's the normal loudness let me see let me just uh, sit closer and let's see how that works let's get rid of that okay I should have everything going on now. Woo! I uh, don't want that. I just want chat. And I think we're good. I can see chat. Excellent. All right, everyone. We're in it. How are you? Um, I just got... Uh, I can see chat. I can see it on multiple spaces. I can see it here, and I can see it there, so I think we're good. Uh, hey everyone, I'm just back from a graduation ceremony where I gave a speech, it went well, um, I was not attacked by tree pollen, which is the main uh, trouble of my life. Actually, I think that is true about chat. They are completely and totally closer than they appear. Uh, let's see. What's new? I have gotten, so I did my speech, now I've got to do administration stuff. I just ordered, I just, here's new, uh, because I have, I have news, I have news that you may or may not care about. I found out that I will not have to leave my apartment this summer. So I get to stay here for another year in this apartment, uh, and I am so happy about it, which means that I can go and get another desk, a better desk than the one that I have, and a second monitor which I have ordered already, and I hope to have the second desk and second monitor next week, which means that I will be working on once all this stuff is done, which will be hopefully by the, you know, this week, next week. Then I will be working on setting up Roll20 for some test RPG arena sessions. So I am very excited about the future of what will be happening. Um, yeah, I just found out about it. And I found out about it, by the way, um, at, at the graduation ceremony. I was at the... I know, I'm, I'm being all productive. Um, I, was at the, uh, I was at the graduation ceremony, and I ran into the person who's in charge of Res Life, and she just let me know that I won't have to move. And I really appreciate that I found out, incidentally, at a party. But she's awesome, so I, I feel I'm happy. Uh, so I'm gonna get a new desk. I'm gonna get a second monitor uh, because the desk I have I bought for like 20 bucks and will not fit two monitors. Barely fits what is on it already. Uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to running some arena combat. Like I'm thinking it'll be three sessions, and that's gonna be our excitement. So mm, today we have to finish up Orwell, and I don't even know how much longer we have. I think we don't have much. I don't think we have much longer, to be honest. Um, it's still very loud for you. Let's see. Let's see. How is 
that? Is the is it better for you the game music? I turned down the volume for it. Oh, hold on, I might have to do this. Okay. So, is that better for you? Are you uh, are you more excited about the volume? I turned it down to really low. Does it make a difference? Okay, so it's, yeah, I turned it down all the way down to like almost non-existent, so you can't hear it very much at all. And if somebody subscribes, you probably shouldn't be able to hear that very much either. Um, but when we go to the actual game screen, it will uh, go back to being the, the, the volume that it was, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe you don't want to hear the game very much. Let's see. Let's turn this down to 50, 48, 45%, 40%, 45, all right, so I've changed volumes on you, okay, we're going to do it, so where are we at, we are at, uh, let me switch over, so in the game, Right now, the volume now should be louder for the game because we just went into the, the game scene and let me know if that's all right for you. Um, otherwise, I can pop out and make the game uh, and alerts very low volume as well. Uh, anyway, so at this point in time, we've hit the, the big climax where um, they the, the people that I've been surveying know about me and I've been presented with a couple of different choices and I have to figure out what to do. The choices are, I can upload information about myself, I can upload information about uh, Catherine Delacroix, or I can upload incriminating information about thought. And, um, okay, good. Uh, I have it a little bit louder on the actual game screen since that's, you know, the main thing. Um, but it's only at like 45% loudness, down from, I think it was 70 before. So I'm hoping that will be all right for you. Uh, so anyway, what I have, I've got these three choices. I've been told that I can do one of these three things. I can incriminate thought in a way that actually isn't true. Um, that's actually not accurate. It really, it's not the entire group that did this. It's really only one person. Um, or I can implicate Catherine Delacroix. Hello, Star Letter. How are you? It is good to see you. I can uh, infiltrate uh, Catherine Delacroix or myself. And the thing about this is, here's what they were thinking, right? They were thinking about the following. So one of them says that if we implicate Catherine Delacroix, we will drag her down and show her to be terrible. And then everybody, like, I don't know, should we overthrow her fire or something? Um, but my feeling is that I don't think there's anything really illegal about her. I mean, I don't know, but it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of illegal things about her that will be so much as to get her to be kicked out of her job, and then someone else will just take it. So the other option, so the first off, the option of implicating thought is not, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so it's really between implicating her, Catherine Delacroix, or implicating me, Charles, the person. Um, Juliet says that I should implicate myself. I'm not quite certain that implicating myself, anybody will care about random me, but that might be the better way to go. I don't know. So let's look at what we have here. We have this uh, chat session that I don't think is all that interesting. We have ghosting, which again, I don't think is all that interesting. I think we're going to go to our reader. I, I'm thinking, here's here are my thoughts. Like, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm thinking that maybe... Uh, This is where we were at last time. Uh, let's just see what they have on me, the evaluation on me. My rating is trustworthy. Um, abstracts, obviously wrong information, not very observant. Flag sea Watergate is potentially dangerous. Believes that the protected. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Jer, that's, that's where I'm leaning to because I, I'm not quite certain how effective it will be, but I think that will probably be better than implicating 
Catherine Delacroix because she did try to have some kind of ethical things in there. I'm not saying that that makes her good, but I also don't, like, I just don't think that will be, that will do anything. I don't think it will do anything. So we are going to, uh, oh, let's find me. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, you've never heard of this game before. So, Star Letter, it is about, um, it's one, it was nominated for the Excellence in Narrative Award by the Independent Games Festival. And, uh, oop, here we go, that's me. And so I'm playing through all the games that were nominated for that award. Uh, and we only have one left. Uh, there are actually two left, but I'm not going to play um, Lady Killer in a Bind online. I've already played it. Uh, but it's a basically you are uh, you are your big brother and you're sort of observing these people who who are thought to be terrorists and they sort of kind of halfway are and it's about sort of thinking about what do we think about being what do we think about this and at the moment it's sort of come to a head and the people that I've been surveying who I cannot contact personally have asked me to either implicate myself to expose to everybody like what's going on um, or implicate the person in charge of the program so that people will kick her out and the person in charge of the program wants me to implicate this group this this group most of whom are actually are not terrorists at all but make it seem like they are so I'm not gonna do that I can either implicate her or implicate myself and I think that I'm gonna implicate myself because that maybe maybe might do something like part of me feels like why would they care but on the other hand they might actually care that they're being spied on by outside people. So I'm going to put a bunch of... I know you might be upset that we tracked your progress, but we needed a failsafe for such a powerful system like Orwell. We could not allow just allow random people to operate it without any backup plan. I mean, we needed something in place in the event that something went wrong. What are you up to? Self-incrimination? To what end? Uh, that's my boss, by the way, Star Letter. Uh, and you should play it. It's uh, You can probably play it faster than we did. We played it in basically three sessions. Let's uh, say that we believed this. And find pro possible contradiction in statements. Stop this at once, or we will have to prosecute you. That's our boss, by the way, Star Letter. Catherine Delacroix. And we are. We're going to just... Um, put in information to implicate myself. Oh. Achievement unlocked under the spreading chestnut tree and thoughts are free. Parliament occupied. Self-incriminating Orwell investigator causes reveal of the project scale. Parliament stormed by protesters. Government cancels Orwell. Government announces immediate termination of Orwell. Impartial agency commissioned with erasing stored data permanently. Ooh. No evidence against Carrington. Previously arrested thought member Carrington released. No solid evidence for Bonton bombing inci indi incitements. Carrington aims to renew thought. Thought welcomes investigator. Investigator insisting the activist group Thought with recent revelations will be declared honorary member. Ooh. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. We made the, we made the good call. I think it was a good choice. Um, hey Sal, how are you? I, oh, hey, hey, everybody! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Wait a second, wait a second! Oh my gosh, this is really important! Um, our sound is doing a weird kind of creepy thing, but we need to, um, we need to do this. Hold on a second. We will come back to it, but system audio capture, we need to go down to zero for the moment. Okay, so this is really important. This is the most important thing. Today is Sal's birthday. I don't know how old Sal is, and I don't care. Sal's probably 147. It doesn't matter. But it's Sal's birthday. So, <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to you. Yeah, 
Happy birthday, dear Sal. You're beautiful, babe. Don't go change it. I mean that. I mean that. Every one of you. All right. Happy birthday to you and many more. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sal. Um, uh, back to, uh, back to Orwell. I hope I didn't embarrass you, but it's your birthday. Yeah. That's all. Um, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, Sal, I'm Charlie. That's me. I'm Charlie. Happy birthday, Sal. Yeah. All the hugs and loves to Sal. That's so nice. Um, but here we are. Yeah, so I'm Charlie. And we have just, we can look at our, we, we did it. I think that uh, that was the best choice. Let's see. So Thought welcomes Investigator. Investigator assisting activist group Thought with recent revelations to be declared, to be, to be declared honorary member. Uh, <laughs> I'm, glad it got, I'm glad it got a laugh out of you. That was my, that was my goal. I wanted you to, to be tickled. So happy birthday. Oh, you streamed Dark Souls all day? Nice. I was at this graduation ceremony and making a speech. The revelations by the investigator are still the talk of the nation. Thought has declared the investigator assisting the activist group with the recent revelations as honorary member. It is presumed that this symbolic act is an attempt to save the investigator from pos possible prosecution by exposing his role to the public since the investigator broke national law by their actions. Oh, let's do that. uploading to me oh oh I just got a black screen oh Orwell I think that's the end of the game folks this is the end of the game we hit it that's amazing look at that uh, well streams done no this streams. surprise attack games I didn't think it would take, I thought we were almost done at the game last time. So really, you can get this game done in about three sessions. So, eight hours maybe? And we have credits? Oh. I did. So let's, while the credits are running, let's head over here. And, uh... Hang out a little bit, shall we? Here we go. So... There were other choices. Uh, the, ch the choice that we chose for this one was to implicate ourselves, to sort of force this to come out in the open, and uh, and maybe people would be upset about the fact that they were being surveyed by, you know, a random person from another country. The other two big choices were to implicate Catherine Delacroix, who's the head of the system of the of the game, and make her like make her sort of part of the system known, and then people would be upset. Maybe they would get rid of her. Um, I think the, um, no, I think that was like the last bit before it got shut down. And then like, you know, that was the last hurrah before it was done. Uh, so I could have implicated Catherine Delacroix. Uh, and then the last choice really would have been to implicate thought and get them all arrested and put in prison. But that was not a choice I was going to make. Maybe some other, somebody else would make that choice, but that was not the choice that I was going to make. Um, so that was it. Chief of Security, yes, yeah, she was Chief of Security. Um, they are, and I just didn't think, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is cynical of me, but I thought putting out a bunch of information about Catherine Delacroix would not have, it might have gotten her fired, but I don't, nece I don't necessarily think it would have fired, it, I don't necessarily think it would have led to the end of Orwell. So I thought that maybe the best thing to do would be to sort of put myself out there, and that would have done it. Um, so thinking about the game... I really love the interface. I like how they made it seem like a, uh, a computer interface that we're interacting with. I thought it had really good art design. I thought it was well written. I thought the characters were all very interesting. Uh, this is clearly an independent game. They did not have the big bucks to put it together, but I think they did a great job of what they had. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, I thought they did a really good job of sort of crafting these characters and and making you sort of get to know them in different ways, even if one of whom was like a, a Keanu Reeves surfer dude, bro. Uh, so I, I really appreciated that. I thought it was uh, I thought it was really interesting. It was a good game. Chief of Impurity. 
I think um, I think so far, 1979 Revolution is my favorite out of the bunch, although I like them all. But since we're here, we might as well start the last one, right? I think we should start the last one. This will be a little bit weird. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. You know what I could do? Um, this is true. It could have been, right? I mean, the she was the driving force of the investigation, so it could have been that way. But I don't know. I would imagine that even without her, it probably would have gone on. <laughs> that signs. That signs. So what I think we're going to do, I think we're going to go and uh, try Event Zero, which is the very last the last one, and do that for a bit since we've got some time. But because I want to make it a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is click the stop stream button and then click it back on so we have a break so that the new one will be all new. Give me a second. I'm going to click and click. <laughs> 